Come on, Wes. You got to do this. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Wes. I'm back at you another video today. We're going to be talking about multiverse. With that being said, let's get it cracking. So, game is cool. I like the animations of the characters. I like the aesthetics. I like uh, the UI. Um, I like a lot of stuff in the game. My only gripe with the game now is the fact that it feels like a lot of mashed potatoes. You guys understand what I mean by mashed potatoes? It's basically people just freaking mashing, punch, pushing buttons aimlessly, right? I get it. You guys at WB want everybody to just feel like they're a champion. Uh, they could do it. You know, they could they could compete. They could get our character move combos, what have you, right? That's all fine to me. But long term, right? Um, in regards to keeping uh, the competitive nature of the game healthy, um, I feel that might not be the way to go in regards to certain mechanics in the game. Now, it's cool that characters can move fast. You can do air dashing. You know, you can't see attacks. You know what I'm saying? You can do all of this stuff. That's nice, right? Right? But... My issue with this game is it doesn't have good defensive options. So it feels like there's only two people are going to reign in this game. People who are really good at comboing, you know, mashing buttons. And then the people who are just running, straight up running. There's no in-between where a person who's a mixture of being precise with their combos and knowing and good, and good with countering, counteracting their opponents. It seems like... It's just going to be the extremes of both. So people who are good at connecting attacks and zero to death in you, or people who aren't good at that, but good at running and chipping damage until it's time for you to die and taking advantage of the perks. There has to be some kind of middle ground in regards to uh, styles and gameplay. And it just makes it a little bit better, in my opinion. So... What I suggest in regards to um, adding diversity to the gameplay is, no, I'm not talking about grab. I'm not even talking about blocking because blocking in this game might be difficult because it's so fast paced and it might actually slow down the game. So I think two games you guys might want to consider taking a, a page out of their book, Rivals of Ether and Rushdown Revolt. Now, Rivals of Ether has parrying. The game... Mind you, Rivals of Ether doesn't allow people to grab. You cannot grab. You cannot grab the ledge either. There's none of that stuff. So, the only defensive option is parrying. I think this game will benefit greatly from parrying. Honestly. It's either you should implement parries in two ways. Obviously, if someone parries, the, um, the person who's initiating the parry um, has a small window to actually successfully get it off and the person who's actually getting the parry done to them they're completely stunned and the person who initiated the parry is able to attack just like rivals of ether right that's what should happen or you could do it to where and then that there's no limit of the amount of times you could parry someone in, in battle or you could do it to where there's a limit of times you can parry so maybe one per life one every a uh, few per life or whatever so you guys can mess around with that hey, the, in the close close beta so i know i know you guys are gonna have your, your um your play testers and people like that test the game out you got your top players on a low you know play test in this game so maybe you guys could do that and then have them test those things out to see how it helps the environment of the game or rather you know there's just the well-being of the game so you could go to perry route or, which is from Rivals of Ether, or you can go, um, it's from Rushdown Revolt, and it's from Guilty Gear, where if someone's comboing you, you ha you get a few times, like I know Rushdown Revolt, you can get out of, um, you get out of combos, I think it's called Burst, or something like that, and what happens is, no matter what is happening, the character basically does this burst, and pushes the opponent away, pushes the opponent away, no matter what, how, well, no matter what the opponent is, is doing to the person, the opponent gets pushed away. So now I think burst would be cool uh, just to reset neutral for a person. Now I think that shouldn't be infinite. There's either two ways you can implement it. 
you kind of implement it to where it's legit. You get it one per life. It's like a get out of jail free card. I implement it as a get out of jail free card. Or there's an infinite amount of times you can do it, but you have to fill up the meters. There's a, so you see where that red, see where the yellow meter is at, where or Batman is at. So this this um yellow meter where Batman is, his uh, uh his character icon, right underneath there, right underneath the stage, right there. That could be the meter for the burst or AKA combo breaker. In order to get it, you gotta refill that meter. So by default, right? So when a match starts, it's filled up. Everyone has it starts with one burst. But then once you use it, you gotta refill it back up. Period. In order to refill it completely, one shot, you gotta die. Get it. So the only way you get a burst back is if you die or you um get attacks. You basically build up attacks. And it fills up the meter. So that way people can't just camp and you know, that way it, it uh, encourages aggressive gameplay or somewhat aggressive gameplay, not people just standing back if they want to get their burst meter up. So those are the two things I think should be implemented in regards to defensive options when it comes to this game. So that's just my take on just things that need to be added to the game in general. I think you guys have a good, uh, a good thing working here. The game is definitely promising, and I hope... You know, you guys continue to listen to the community and support the community. And, you know, continue to make this game grow and be something, you know, bigger than the average platform fighter that's not Smash. You know, kind of giving Smash a run for his money and at least has a big enough community, a big community as Smash, or maybe even bigger, or maybe close to it, you know? But anyway, what you guys think in the comment section below? With that being said, this is your boy Wes. I'm out of here. Peace.